Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today I will be providing the, I would say 2017 limited edition, I want to say like a holiday edition, because at the time Rihanna released this palette, I think in early October, it was around the time, you know, most people started to get ready for the holidays. So I guess I would say this is like a limited edition first eyeshadow release launch of her eyeshadow collection, but more along the holiday limited edition. And I'm not sure if Rihanna is still going to... Uh, keep the palette as a limited edition palette or it's going to be permanent to her Fenty Beauty line because I still see that the palette is still available on the Fenty Beauty website so if you're still interested in purchasing it it is $59 and we're going to get into it so again I really love the packaging you see how beautiful it looks and special under the light it is gorgeous it has that pop of glitter for you know the glitz and on the back you have the list of the shadows you can see that so these are the names of all the shadows And I attempted to, you know, do two makeup looks with this palette. I think the second one was more successful. But it's definitely one of those palettes you have to learn a technique with it. If you're someone on the beginning stages of makeup, this may be a little bit advanced. But you definitely have to acquire and a, a technique to really use this palette. It has a mirror, like a mirror prism type finish to it, reflective. Reminds me of like a diamond, just very beautiful. You can even see my face in it. So it is mirrored. So I'm gonna swatch from this palette. I had meant to do it last year when I got the palette as usual as usual I like to try to get my swatches in the palette doesn't bend down and I keep the sheets I just have a habit I keep the sheets over my palette and those are the colors I will be using a clean sweep basically makeup remover so I will be using this you can purchase this at TJ Maxx or Marshall for around $3.99 works, works really well to remove um, eyeshadows between each use so I will be using that and I will be using my M408 Morphe brush. So that's what it is. Basically, a smudger shader brush. So I'm trying to stay out of the view of the camera. But I think I just put the mirror, put the box over the mirror. And I want to be the distraction aspect of it. So I'm just going to put it to the side like this. Hopefully you all can still see it and be within your view. Because this is a smaller palette um, compared to the BH Cosmetic palette that I just swatched prior to this video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have no primer on my arm. This will be the natural color that you see from this palette. 
So the first color, you know what, I need to use this box because I won't be able to see the name. So. Trying to find something else to so the mirror does not distract anyone. So the first cut I'm gonna start from top to and work my way to the bottom. So the first shade I'm going to swatch is called Extra Terrestrial. This is a galaxy theme palette with the names and reflection to the, you know, the outer space, you know, type stars and, you know, anything you can find out of this world, basically. So it's called Extra Extra terrestrial. So this is that color. Very beautiful. I'll say it's a beautiful black base shadow with some gold, like gold and almost looks like green, but more of a gold finish. If you can see that. These shadows definitely look like they have multi glitters in them, like different colors. It's definitely a pretty color. And I'm assuming if you use like a black base underneath it, it may make it pop even more because the color is already with a dark base to it. Definitely a pretty shade. So that's extraterrestrial. Next shade I will be swatching is called Light Year. Lightyear definitely has my, micro glitters. It has a very cool tone base as well. And I want to say they're black base, but I'm not sure if other colors could have been used for the base. But they have, this has a similar undertone as extraterrestrial also with the gold micro glitters there's a different type of glitter because I think extraterrestrial has more of that green Reflect and go, whereas light year has more of that dark black base with more of gold and maybe silver micro glitters. So that's what that one looks like so far. Very pretty. Then we're going to go in with the next shade, which is called Planet X. Planet X looks like a rose gold type of shadow. Some people use these eyeshadows. They either use it with glitter glue 
where they lay down a dark base for the colors to uh, be adhesive to. So like if you use a black base, it can make the colors pop a little bit more. Or you could just use them as they are if you just want a sweep of color. You don't want anything to look intense for your eye look. So that is Planet X. It has a brown, it's a brown undertone to it. Definitely pretty. The next shade is called Ozone. And it's like a very, it's like a very metallic. I think all these eyeshadows are metallics with micro glitter finishes. So this looks like a nice diamond. Reminds me like a color of a diamond. My camera moving around or the lens focusing. So you can see there is a like a gold shift to it. But when you look at it in the palette, a little silver, like a silver type metallic color. That is the color there. I personally don't mind these type of finishes because they are pretty and there are different, I think Rihanna put different undertones to each shadow to be worn as they are or to have some intensity you know using another type of base to make the colors pop so i think i really like that especially it was very festive especially for creating holiday looks new year eve type looks but it's definitely one of these palettes that you will want to Get ready and look glam. So this next color that I'm swatching is called Ultraviolet. So instead of like violet, it's like lit at the end. Ultraviolet. So play on words. So there's a beautiful plummy undertone with some multi purple like green silver flex micro glitters in it so that's ultraviolet very pretty No, I say very pretty because they are very pretty. So the next shade is called Sublime. Sublime is definitely a cooler, I would say like a light green shadow. These shadows look metallic, as I said, but they're mostly glitter. They are glitter eyeshadows. So that is sublime. 
Sublime definitely has has a green undertone, like a light green undertone, but a lot of gold, gold glitters, silver glitters. This what Sublime looks like. It has a shift, so depending on the light, it could look light green or it could look like a a light champagne color. So the next color is called Milky Way. Milky Way definitely looks like a frost type of shade. Has some micro glitter, but it's mostly fine compared to the other glitters in the shadow. You get more of this like frost, almost pearlescent type of finish to it. I definitely think it's a good palette to have if you're into glitters. And for me, it's more of a collector piece, and I do like glitters. So, depends on my look that I'll be going for. This is a good palette to have in your possession. This is Rihanna's first eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to see what she launches in the future for her eyeshadow palette, quads, trios. I don't know what's coming coming for us but I know she just released the body lavas you know, for the spring so the next color is called Cosmic Ocean which is one of my favorite in this palette very pretty very pretty blue color so I'm going to be shifting my arm down a little bit so I can make room for the other shades. This one is like, see the glitters makes it look like it has a dual chrome finish because the the glitters are multicolored. So you have some lilac, purple, some blue, some silver. That's what it looks like. And I think if you're going to pat this on your eye, you just want to pat it on. Kind of like this. If you're going to pat it, definitely have a base to it so the, the glitters can hold on on your eyes. So that is Cosmic Ocean. The next color is called Meteor Crush. And it looks like a nice pink shade with some gold reflect so this is definitely your true rose gold shade out of the palette has a pink base to it I thought Planet X would have had a pink base, but I think it has more of a bronze, like a bronze, yeah, like, I would say definitely a bronze gold shade. This is more of your rose gold. And if you move your hand around, it can look like there's a shift, like a, like a dual, dual chrome shift to it. That is pretty. 
I like all these colors. The next shade is called Jupiter Sand. And it looks like a taupe color. Like it could be a taupe duochrome. And some of these shades are definitely for a smoky eye look compared to some others. So that is Jupiter Sand. And it has some purple, some purple and look, look like some purple and gold, but it definitely has a darker bronze undertone to it. The next shade is also very stunning. And that color is called Mars on Fire. Mars on fire. Definitely, I think this is probably my favorite of all the colors from this palette. I love this gold, copper, burnt, rustic gold, bronze shade. It's like a color of all beautiful metal shade just definitely it's a nice beautiful shade it has gold micro glitters so that is Mars on fire Next shade is called Midnight Bolt. And you know how I love a good blue shadow and lipstick. So this is called Midnight Bolt. Has a blue undertone to it. Go over these swatches to show you how you can build up the color more for intensity. That is Midnight Bolt. The next shade is called Space Out. And it's like a nice purple color as well. Different from Ultraviolet. So this is Ultraviolet. This is more of a duochrome type color with like blue micro glitters in it. My swatches went sort of crooked, but you all can see that. So that is orange, not ultraviolet, but that is space out. These colors are pretty, pretty stunning, I think. And 
And to me, they could make really great toppers too. Let me just use this color to top over another eyeshadow or, you know, use on your, in your lash lines. But you definitely want to have some kind of adhesive holding down the colors or a base. And the last color in the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Palette is called Sunburst. And this looks like a beautiful gold duochrome shade. It's a straight up gold color. It will look beautiful as an accent eyeshadow. Like if you're in a corner highlight, uh, over the eyelid, definitely very nice. And that is Sunburst. Sorry I went crooked with my swatches. But those are all the shades from the Galaxy. So starting from starting from left to right again, you have the color extraterrestrial light year. That is called Planet X Ozone Ultraviolet Sublime. Milky Way, Cosmic Ocean, Meteor Crash, Jupiter Sand, Mars on Fire, Midnight Bolt, Space Out, and Sunburst. These are all the colors and their finishes. In person, you could definitely see the glitter reflex, but on the camera, it doesn't pick up. I don't feel like it picks up as strongly. The micro glitters that are in it. Except for the last two because it has that dark base to it. So those are the shades from the Galaxy palette. I want to provide this swatch for those who are still interested, who may want to see it on a different type of skin tone. This is the color. And again, the palette is still selling for $59 on Fenty Beauty website. For those who may be still wanting to get the palette. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this swatch video. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them below. And if you have the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette, what are your favorite colors? Do you, how do you wear it? What type of base do you use? Do you wear them as they are? Do you use like a black base underneath it? Do you use glitter glue? And if you do wish glitter glue, have you found helpful to you? Definitely share that information, for, especially of those who are watching. This video may want to know that information. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.